Coquita Dreams is the greatest channel ever, ever. And they started at 315. They passed the paperwork. Y'all got the y'all got the verdict. Y'all got the verdict. Y'all got the verdict. Yeah. They go. He read all three. Guilty. 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 Bitch, we looking like what? You start hearing people break down. All of a sudden, daddy hopped up. He went slapped the fuck off. He directly spoke to the prosecution. Kathy and bot. Y'all are evil. Y'all are demonic. God will handle this situation. He condemned them. Baby, it, it, you had the people cheering. You had jurors reluctant to say that that was their verdict. Literally. Literally. You got people sitting in the bitch hollering. Agreeing. Like the energy, like just going crazy. Kids crying. People start pulling out their phones because they saying, we don't know what you're going to do to them. They Because all these police start trying to come up and get everybody and, and like rally and corral everybody. So now niggas is getting into it with security because they said, we don't know what the fuck you're going to do with, to them. Not everybody acting a motherfucking fool. Everybody. Everybody. They screaming, fuck Rock Nation. They turned around. They told the white reporters, the white outlets that y'all been posting. The only ones y'all care about, the ones that's been pushing y'all narratives, even though we all heard what happened in their courtroom. They turned around and said, Jay-Z is a bitch. Go report that. They screaming. Tori, you free. We praying for you. This is going to be okay. They supporting him. Literally. Absolute chaos. They get the family out. They told everybody else to come out. They sitting in the, uh, we, not everybody in the main highway. Everybody's still going off. I go get the babies. The babies are emotional. One in particular. I said, it's okay. It's, you're going to be okay. I wrap my jacket around the babies. I'm bringing them into the fold. You know, that's a lot of energy. A lot of energy. And so, um, we were able to get on the elevator and go down. When we got downstairs, Tori's father said what he had to say. I'm sure that y'all have probably seen that shit by now. Um, he made his statements, some very powerful statements. And you could hear the people that agreed cheering, 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 cheering. Um, of course, this will be appealed. And I want to say something. How do I feel? I told y'all before, I don't care what the verdict say. Because I know what I'm convicted of. Y'all heard what was said in that courtroom. You know that this does not make any sense. You know that. You know that. But you know what? Shit like this got to happen. Because this continues to happen. But it ain't going to be something that people continue to get away with. You push people, push people, push people, push people. Y'all sitting up laughing saying, aha, he guilty. But when the people that y'all want to buy tickets and the people that y'all want to go to them concerts and when the people that y'all want to support what y'all got going on, when they don't show up, when they don't show up, because they don't fuck with you, because they don't fuck with this, then what? Y'all think y'all won, but you lost. Because the people decided. And this ain't make no sense to no fucking body. Nobody. Nobody. What happens when people feel like, no, that could have been us and you fucked over one of ours and this ain't right. There was some things said about how to witness Sean Kelly, whose story was that Kelsey did the shit. The prosecution talked to him Saturday. He didn't even shake the defense motherfucking hand when he came up in there. Now all of a sudden, Tory flailed in a gun and he saw him with it. Okay. Okay. There was some things said about the deal that got turned down. We're Rock Nation. What? So, I think that this is a miscarriage of justice. I said before that, that if this was the verdict, that that would be a miscarriage of justice. 
Um, and I still feel the same way. I still feel the same way. Um, as Tori was getting handcuffed, he was reassuring, you know, the people that were saying, Tori, this ain't right. We praying for you, etc. When Tori's father, you know, got upset and in passion, you know, I was saying what he was saying. He um was trying to calm him down. He was trying to calm, you know what I'm saying, the family down. So he was the one that was calm, like the shit ain't just get read out about him. He ain't cry. He ain't flinch when they read it. He ain't flinch. When they said guilty, 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 he ain't even move. Like he expected the shit. Um. You guys listen to what happened. And y'all can go back and read the transcripts yourself. Y'all know damn well that this should have never happened. This case should have ended in an acquittal or a mistrial. With the amount of reasonable doubt and the fact that there was no proof, you have unreliable testimony from particular people. And you have the fact that Kelsey was not even tested for gunshot residue. I'm sorry. Yes, she was. DNA. Kelsey was not even tested for DNA. How in the fuck do you figure that, okay, this is what it is? Somebody said, um, y'all so slow. The defense said she was shot. They did acknowledge that, but they also said it was not their client. So I think that when you have a situation where everybody can acknowledge the same witness y'all want to lean on, he saw a fight between them. It could have never happened. If we're going to take his testimony, then it could have never happened the way that they said it. This is a political situation. It has been from the start. This is always bigger than even just the situation at hand. And oh, well, this is what happened. Like, somebody said, what you mean shit like this gotta happen? That's crazy. What I meant was, you ever seen situations where people revolt and they stand up because they get sick and tired of being mistreated? You understand situations like that? This is a situation like that. So, that's what I meant. Shit like this has to happen for people to stand up and to, you know what I'm saying, come together and say, hey, something is wrong with this. So. It does happen all the time. They did not prove without a reasonable doubt that he was guilty. But it is what it is. Like I said from the very beginning, there are no winners in this situation. And uh, what's really needed is prayer and healing because the whole situation is fucked up. So here we are. Um, this shit just ridiculous. But for everybody that felt like, you know, oh, he was guilty, you got your verdict? You happy? Okay. For everybody else that paid attention to what happened, I don't think you feel like everybody else kind of somber and kind of, you know, dumbfounded. There were so many women, men, and everything in between, crying, you know, and just upset. Child. So. That's what happened. It's a lot going on. So, uh, <laughs> mm, mm. it's a lot going on. And so, um, I'm going to come back and talk to y'all in a little bit, okay? I just want to let y'all know because I know y'all want to know. So, there it is. Do I agree with it? No. No, 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 no. Look at Megan Cunef. She didn't spill coffee on her damn shirt. Child. So, like I said, uh, I'm going to talk to y'all soon.